Hi, I'm Roxy Lang, and welcome to Children's Church on Friday, October 30th, 2020. And it's the end of another week today. And is that something? In a couple more days, we're into a new month, November, and it's just going to get colder and colder out until the winter goes by. So I just thank you for watching, and I hope that you're enjoying the stories uh, that we've been reading through this People of the Bible Stories people that the Lord has touched their lives in many, many ways. And the Lord put upon the hearts of the people who wrote the book of the Bible to write about these exciting events, exciting people. And they're people just like you and I, people who have sinned and they've fallen short of the glory of God, but the Lord is so faithful and he leads them out and leads them, directs and guides and leads them and they turn their hearts to him and, and put their faith and trust in the Lord. And that's what the Lord wants us to do, is to put our faith in him and to love him with all of our heart and soul and strength and mind. So I hope you're enjoying these stories and the songs that we sing. And it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful time, a wonderful experience living and alive and having Jesus in our hearts. The Lord is so good to us. So today is Jesus part Three, we'll learn more about Jesus and his life as he walked on this earth. And he walked on this earth just like we did, just like we do. So, Father in heaven, we just thank you. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, to earth. He came from heaven down to earth to walk on this earth, to be amongst us, to show us your miracles to heal people and we just thank you Father God for your healing touch upon our lives and I just thank you Father God and I praise you and I ask you Father God if there's hearts out there that are hurting Father God if there's someone who's not feeling good someone who might have this virus that is going around that you touch their lives in a mighty way and just heal them spirit soul mind and body heal them yes you touch their hearts and their lives in a mighty way and the people around them in Jesus name Amen. So we'll sing our songs and get into our story of Jesus. So the first song we will sing is Jesus Loves Me, because we haven't sang that for a, a while. And we know that Jesus loves me and Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And he loves me, and he loves you, and he loves every one of us. Small, big, short, large, young and old alike. He loves us all. So thank you, Lord God, for your loving kindness, your loving, tender touch in our lives. Thank you for your love in Jesus' name. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's from Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And we can sing that one more time because it's a short, short little song, but it's a good song. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And that's a Bible verse that comes from Joshua 24:15. And the last song that we'll sing for today is He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. 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 He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, 
in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. And he does. He's got the whole world, the whole wide world in his hands. And we do not have to fear. And did you know that the Bible says, do not fear like over 300 times? Because God says, do not fear. Do not be afraid because I am with you always. Well, let's get into our, child, our children's story. The people of the Bible. And it's our third part of talking about Jesus and his life on earth. And Jesus does many, many miracles while he is alive on the earth. Jesus told a story to explain what it means to love your neighbor. And did you know we have neighbors living all around us, but those aren't just our only neighbors. Do you know that? Even when we're walking in a store, the person who walks by us is our neighbor. Anybody who is around us, we can consider them, we can call them our neighbors. A man was robbed and left on the side of the road. So there's bad people that came by and robbed this man who was traveling on the road. A priest walked by and pretended not to even see it, not to even notice so that priest walked on the other side of the road and didn't even help this man who was laying there and hurt and needed to be helped. A second person passed and didn't help either. So there's two people that passed by this man that was robbed and hurt and, and bleeding and laying on the side of the road and two men just passed right by pretending they didn't even see them because they were in too much of a hurry or they probably didn't know what to do and how to help. So they thought their lives were maybe too busy and just didn't need to stop and help this man. Then a man from a different country came along. He felt sorry when he saw the hurt man and stopped to help him. He bandaged his wounds all up. He took his time to take care of this man. Then the Samaritan carried that hurt man to an inn and paid the innkeeper to take care of him. So he didn't even stop. He just he didn't just stop and bandage this man up. He also carried him into town and paid for him to stay in the inn and paid for the innkeeper to take care of him, to make sure that he got well before he traveled any further. So this good Samaritan, he was a good, good, good man, wasn't he? He helped somebody out that he didn't even know. And he was considered a neighbor. He was considered a good Samaritan. I didn't show you that picture up front here. We'll show the picture of the good Samaritan that stopped and helped this hurt man on the side of the road. And, and up in the corner are the two men that just decided to go on their way and not even stop and help this man who was hurt. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when he came to a village. Jesus, help us, help us, some men cried out. He heard people crying out to him, calling his name. The voices came from 10 sick men and they had leprosy and leprosy is a skin eating disease and they had to be quarantined outside of the village outside of they couldn't be around people when they had this terrible disease. Jesus said to them go and see the priests. As the men walked away Jesus performed a miracle. They were all healed. So when Jesus told them to go he, go see the priest, and they all got up and started walking towards the priest, and as they were walking, Jesus healed these men because they obeyed him. They listened to Jesus. The men were overjoyed. They were very, very happy to be healed of this awful disease, this awful sickness that they had. Yet only one of them, one person, out of all those 10 men, only one came back and thanks Jesus. Only one remembered to thank Jesus and tell him, Jesus, thank you for healing me. Do you remember to thank the Lord? I remind you many, many times to thank the Lord 
about everything that he does in our lives. But have you been sick recently? Or maybe you're, you're not feeling well right now and you can say, Lord, heal me. I know that you are able to heal me and I receive your healings. I receive your blessings and I thank you. And you just thank the Lord even before you can see anything happening. You just have that faith that the Lord is healing you no matter what kind of sickness or disease or no matter how bad you might feel, the Lord is able to heal you and heal you from every sickness and disease. And thank the Lord. Just continue to thank the Lord until you know, until you, you do know when you would thank the Lord. Because the Bible says when we ask, we need to believe that it's already been done. So when we ask the Lord to be healed, we know that the Lord has already answered that prayer for us. So only one returned and said thank you to Jesus. He fell down at Jesus' feet, praising him. Jesus said to him, You are well because you believed. So Jesus didn't just didn't take away his disease, but he healed him. He healed him so that he was whole because leprosy is a disease that would take your flesh, it would eat your ears off, it would eat your nose off, it would eat your, your fingers or your toes, it would just take big pieces of your body and it would make them into nothing. So Jesus healed this man whole. So his ears came back or his nose came back or whatever the disease might have taken. This man was made whole because he came back and he thanked Jesus. So Jesus gave him an extra special blessing. And there's the ten up in the corner that the nine of them walked away without even saying thank you. And the one came back and Jesus said, you are well, you are whole. The children wanted to see Jesus too because children love Jesus because he, he had such a kind, caring, loving heart and Jesus loved the children. The disciples tried to send them away, but Jesus said, let the children come unto me. I want to see them. Then he blessed the children. Jesus blesses children. Did you know that? He loves you, cares about you, and he blesses you. You must each become like a child in order to enter the kingdom of God, Jesus told his disciples. Jesus loved children very, very much. Because he is a good, Jesus is a good, good man, and he only does good things. And he taught the children about, about him. He taught the children how to love each other. And he teaches the children good things. He said that they were special because they don't worry about being important. Did you know that? Children don't worry about things. And that's how God wants each of us. He doesn't want us to worry about things or to fear. Sometimes children even understand things that adults cannot understand. Like joy and peace and, and not being fearful. Sometimes little children have a better understanding of that than adults do. Whoever welcomes a child welcomes me, says Jesus. And there's Jesus with all the little children around. All the little children want to come and see Jesus. A blind man sat begging when Jesus came near Jericho. The blind man wanted to know why the people were passing by. When he heard that Jesus was near, he cried out, Jesus, have mercy on me. The people tried to quiet him, but he just called out louder, Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus heard him and stopped. I want to see, said the man. Jesus healed his eyes. The man leaped with joy. Could you imagine if you couldn't see if you were blind and Jesus put his hands on you and says, now you can see and you opened your eyes and you could see everything all the colors all the people all the trees all the animals that'd be amazing wouldn't it so we got to be thankful for our vision for our sight that the lord has given us vision to see the people who saw the miracle praised the lord too so when you see other people getting healed and praise the lord for them healing healing them because someday you might need to be healed of some kind of sickness or disease and you want people to be happy for you too. And just be thankful that Jesus performs miracles, that Jesus loves and cares for us so much. Jesus healed many sick and even raised people from the dead. But most importantly, he forgave their sins. And that's the most important thing. He forgives us of our sins because we all have sins that we carry around. And we say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I don't want to sin. I want to I be more like you. 
I want to follow you and to serve you, and I don't want to sin no more. And Jesus forgives us of all of our sins. There's not one sin that Jesus said, oh, sorry, I can't forgive you of that sin. That's too naughty. You've, done, you've been too bad. Jesus said, I forgive you of all of your sins. No matter what you've done, I forgive you. You're forgiven. And I don't even remember those sins no more. And I don't want you to remember those sins neither. Do you know what Jesus says that to us? Many people did not understand why he forgave people who were bad. Because all of us do bad things, don't we? Not just some people do bad things. We all do bad things and need to be forgiven. But Jesus said that God rejoices for every person that turns away from sin. Each is precious to the Lord. And there's Jesus, and he's saying, I forgive you, I love you, and you are forgiven. And that is the end of our Jesus stories, Jesus part three. And so tomorrow we'll read about some another person in the Bible. But we had three days of learning about Jesus. And isn't Jesus wonderful? Jesus is wonderful. Jesus loves us so very, very much. Is there a special part of that story that you like today? I think the part that I like the most is when Jesus said, let the children come unto me. I want to see those little children. I want to share stories with them. I want them to know about me. I want them to, to feel and know and understand my love. So that's the part that I love the most is when Jesus tells the children to come to him and the disciples didn't want those children to come because they thought they were bothering Jesus. But Jesus said, no, I love those children. Let them come. Let them come to me. So thank you so much for watching. And please share this story with your brothers and sisters and cousins and neighbors and friends. And everybody needs to know the love of Jesus. We'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.